everybody, I got my first uh, PM about a list, and so I figured I'd go over uh, my thoughts and comments on this. Uh, so we're going uh, 1,500 points today, and the list that was uh, PM'd me uh, goes, I didn't bring out all my models, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so we have a mech with a KFF, Cyborg, and a Burnet for 115 points. Your standard war boss with power claw squig, cyborg heavy armor, and a combi rocket for 120. Uh, you have 19 boys with a knob and power claw, and then two units of boys with knobs and power claws. Uh, two units of truck boys uh, with knobs, power claws, and shooter boys. And the trucks have rocket launchers and, pl and uh, boarding planks. Ten burners, two units of two def copters with rocket launchers. Uh, one battle wagon with a def roller and boarding plank. And then a looted wagon with a scorch and two big shooters. Now this is what I like to call, uh, in, in my opinion, this list is, is very disjointed. Um, there's a lot of things going on here. The the biggest thing that, that bothers me is the two to twenty boys on foot. Uh, being on foot, they're not going to be able to keep up with the main part of the army, and they'll be actually too slow to even be the anvil to the hammer and anvil tactic. Um, and just in general, I don't happen to think that uh, an army that splits, an orc army that splits between assaulty and shooting units really works out all that well. You just don't have enough points and enough bodies to do both uh, from what I've been able to find. Which is why I prefer to go either all shooty or all assault and just don't try to combine them. And of course there's a lot of other things going on here. Uh, the trucks of course are, are incredibly fragile. Uh, and yes, I do have three whole ones, but I are only AB10 open top. The chances of them getting up into combat are pretty slim. And even with trucks, even if you do get into combat, you got 12 guys. 12 guys uh, really, really gets hurt in 6th edition via Overwatch. Um, so that's really why I just don't like trucks anymore at all. Uh, the combination of a few, few models and, and Overwatch. And their, their frailty uh, just makes them really hard to use. The one advantage, of course, they have is the ramshackle table, which means you're not going to be taking as much damage from this as you would from uh, if, if, if from just the normal robot rules on vehicle explodes. So there's a slight advantage to trucks, but I think the, the disadvantages far outweigh that one advantage. Uh, the looted wagon again. While it's a nice idea having the scorcher on there, and I like the the three wet weapons, so you know the chance of the scorcher surviving. It's again pretty fragile. It's an open top rhino, and I don't know how many people play against rhinos anymore, but they're just not very uh, resilient either. So again, I don't expect that to get very far. And we're putting burners in the lead wagon. Uh, again, your burners are gonna be stranded far away from what anything you're gonna be able to do. So how do you fix this? Well, the, the easiest fix by far is replacing your truck with battle wagons. Oh yeah. Uh, a few games ago I played an all out assault list and I can tell you that it can work. I mean, it's definitely one of those things that you're not ever gonna be <laughs> challenge your, challenging yourself tactically when it comes to an all-out assault list. But, again, I don't think trying to... Trying to combine uh, an assault, salty components with shooting components for the orc army, if you're going pure orcs, isn't going to work very well. So what I've suggested instead is, instead of using all trucks and, and the looted wagon, just to go with all battle wagons. Uh, we're gonna keep the mech the same, except we're gonna give them a, uh, a boss pole. Uh, in the list I was given, there were no boss poles in there. I really like boss poles, especially if you're running units of 20 instead of 30. Uh, you're probably gonna need it uh, sooner, more often than you would if you're running units of 30. So boss poles are a good idea. And I put one on the mech in case the one there's a problem with one on the knob gets died and dies in the challenge or picked off or something. The war boss stays exactly the same except I replaced the combi rocket with a combi scorcha. 
uh, the rocket, you know, it, it may sound good, but you know, your BS2 will one shot per game, so that means on average you're only going to get once every three games with it. Uh, it's just not worth the five points. But a heavy flamer shot, that's worth it. And especially if you can overwatch with it out of the battle wagon. So then for a battle wagon slot, we're going to use take a unit of knobs. I got 260 points and six knobs. I got two power claws, one big chopper, pain boy, cyborgs, with a war banner, and two combi scorches. And this battle wagon, like all the others, like the other three I'm going to talk about later, I have a death roller and a big shooter. Normally I wouldn't take a death roller, but this guy said he's going to be playing against Dark Angel, so there's a better than average chance you're going to get a land raider, even at 1500 points. And having just one model able to deal with that, the war boss isn't that great. But you have four death rollers, land raider is actually probably going to cower in fear of that. But again, normally I wouldn't take death rollers. Because they're just not really neat. And of course, in 6th edition, the main reason why is you cannot tank shot or you cannot ram and then assault. Get out and assault at the same turn. Uh, like you could in 5th edition. But that's another reason why I don't normally take death rollers. So that's 260 points. Alternatively to that unit of 6 knobs, you take 5 mega knobs with 2 comedy scorches for the same points. And same with the war boss. You can get a mega armor war boss for about the same price. So if you want to go Mega Armor there instead, I mean, there's pros and cons to both of them. Mega Armors, of course, have the two of armor save. They don't have an interval save. They don't have weapon skill 5. They don't have the pain. So, you know, it, it's it's a personal choice. They both work out well, and you both have to use you, If you use them the correct way, it'll both work very well. But if you can't use them the same way all the time, then Mega Knobs are normal knobs. Okay, so then I've got a unit of... 20, uh, 19 art boys with an uh, power clown boss bowl. Uh, if this is in one situation, if you're going an all out assault with the battle wagon, like this is one place I would definitely take art boys. If you go against uh, the, the non power weapon units, uh, that's where you want to send these guys. They will definitely help tie up, or they'll, they'll, they'll munch through things a lot easier than regular boys. They'll have a lot more res resiliency. And then 20 regular boys, uh, again with a non power clown boss bowl. Oh, I only with 19 art boys. That way it gives you options, you don't have to put the mech or the war boss in any particular unit. You can mix them up and move them around between the knobs and the hard boys and the, and the burners. So you're not stuck in one kind of configuration. Um, so there's your troops, the knobs and teams of boys. we have got 10 burners, the same 10 burners as before. And then three battle wagons, again all with nothing but death rollers and big shooters, and that's it. And that comes out to exactly 1,500 points. So you can have four battle wagons and nothing else to deploy. So when you're playing an all-out assault army, uh, there's lots of things to consider. Uh, deployment's important because you're, especially you're basically gonna be lining up all together to so get that uh, cover save from KFF. And the burners are going to be a high priority target, so it's almost worth putting them behind the other three, but then that kind of limits them on what they can do, so it's really hard to use the burners, the burners in a battle wagon effectively, uh, especially since 6th edition they can only, can only move 6 and shoot. Um, so it's something to consider, that's going to take some planning, some thought on your part to use the burner battle wagon effectively. But you've got Mega Noms and 40 Boys in front of it. This may not be as high a priority target as it would otherwise. And then when you're setting up objectives, the other important part when you're doing an all-out assault all all like this, you're not going to be on your side of the table. You're going to be on the, in, on the other side of the table a lot. Don't put your objectives in your opponent's zone. Put all the objectives in your opponent's zone. This makes it kind of obvious what you're going to do. I mean, it's going to, with four battle wagons and nothing else, it's, it's obvious what you're going to do anyway. Uh, while these all-out assault armies are fun, and it's, they are obvious, they are obvious. And there's, there's no question about that. The battle wagons are coming for you. And it's just a question of if you can stop them or not before they get there. But with the objectives on the opponent's side, and battle leg is moving, you know, 18, 15, that extra, extra few inches that first turn for going flat out. And then they have the 5 up cover save, armor 14. It's going to be, it's a challenge actually to take out that, to do that much damage. Uh, you do have to be aware of your opponent's melting guns, where they are, and keep your range from them. 
one point possible. Uh, so they stay out of melter range. Uh, again, since you can pre-measure everything, that shouldn't be that hard to do. But it's definitely something to keep in mind when you're moving your battle wagons up. Because you know where your point spells guns are and plan for it. So there's really not much strategy to talk about. I mean, it's basically you go up 18 inches first turn, second turn, six, you get out and it's all. Call your law so you have your fleet uh, when you need it. There's not much else to do it, really. Um, there are some things you have to work out. You worry about, you know, you have to worry about manticores because they'll get side shots uh, in their ordinance, so strength 10, so they'll almost always get pins. I can put your guys too close together uh, with the new rules, you know, they can hit you know, two or three battle wagons with them. So you're running that. So if you're worrying about Mandacores, so you're going to face uh, so you're going to face IG with Mandacores. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough to get across the field. It's going to be a lot easier though in battle wagons than it would in trucks. So that's just about it for this list. Just go with battle wagons instead. If you're going to if you're going to try and get across the field, trucks is not are not going to do it. Battle wagons, or simply, you know, alternatively, is instead of doing all this, I can just build. Uh, army to go uh, play in your opponent's deployment zone with deep striking, outflanking, and stuff like that. But that's a completely different video. So, that's about it. Get your battle wagons a going. Go kill. Go out and kill some stuff.